Here we have a large extraaxial enhancing mass involving the anterior skull base. And with extension into the supracellar cistern, there is mass effect on the optic chiasm, optic nerves, and pituitary and fundibulum. The mass also insinuates into the olfactory groove. There is mass effect on the inframedial frontal lobes bilaterally with minimal associated interparenchymal vasogenic edema. We additionally see hyperostosis affecting the anterior clinoid processes and the ethmoid roof. The mass also abuts the supraclinoid internal carotid arteries and A2 segments of the anterior cerebral arteries, which were otherwise widely patent. These findings are consistent with a planum sphenoidale meningioma. The vast majority of meningiobas occur in the supratentorial compartment, and the anterior skull base is a frequent location of occurrence. Helpful findings that confirm the extraaxial location of these masses include buckling of the cortex, a cleft of CSF surrounding the tumor, as well as an enhancing dural tail. Meningiomas are thought to occur more commonly in women and can have a variety of presentations and associated operative challenges based on location. In this case, no vascular occlusion or cavernous sinus invasion was seen, although there was significant local mass effect.